bunch of beginner choreograph videos just set to some random music or whatever, but I've never showed you how to do a proper warm up and explain what the whole point of doing each movement was. And since I'm not warmed up, I figure I'll explain that and do that right now. So I like to do a head to toe warm up. First thing I like to do is start with the head, take the neck back and forth. Now, here's the thing about the neck. I used to roll all the way down and I used to say, don't drop your head. Guess what? Turns out I can't drop my chin to my chest anymore, but I can go backwards. So what I would say about the neck and warming up your neck is look side to side. If that hurts, don't do it. Anything else, that one, work out on your own. Necks are funny that um, when the discs bulge, they bulge in all different you know, ways and directions. So I can't in good conscience say, do this to warm up your neck, do these neck stretches because it might be bad for your particular body. So everything else I'm pretty sure is neutral and you can get away with it. So warming the shoulders next. I like to start with shrug rolls or shrug circles. Forwards, then backwards. And then you make the circles bigger until you've got your whole arm involved. If you'll notice, I can't stop moving back and forth. It's a way to keep more blood flowing and to get more heat going faster instead of just standing here doing this. So I'm just shifting my weight back and forth. All right, and of course I'm switching from backwards, forwards to backwards. Next thing I like to do, I like to grab a hold of the pole and I like to do hip circles. I like to start off in the direction that I wasn't very good at when I first started doing this, which I was, I think, going this direction, but now I don't remember anymore. Anyway, and then I like to slowly bend the knees and keep circling. Pull your abs in real tight. And eventually you gradually circle it down all the way to the floor. Once at the bottom, rotate it around a little bit. And start working back up using your arms, hands to pull you up. But when you do that, make sure that you have proper form. Make sure that your shoulders and more importantly, your shoulder blades are in proper alignment. So that's gonna involve sticking your chest out and making sure that your shoulder blades are back and down. If you are feeling it, you take that hip circle in the other direction. If you've had about enough of that, I like to come to the pole side, bring my arm all the way up, and just kind of gently stick my hip out. This is a real gentle stretch. It's more dynamic than isometric because I just keep pulling in and out. Real nice and slow and controlled. Take it to the other side. What you do to one side, you have to do the other. And then turn to the pole. Shoulders, take your hands about chest height, 
bending at the waist and just kind of pull back. So warming up in a head to toe and um, oh. order, right? If you put it in order, it can help you figure out what your body's going to be ready for that day. So warming up doesn't just get you ready to work out, it tells you what you're going to be able to even try to do that day. Sometimes you might be too sore from your workout before. And so you may realize in your warm up, oh wow, I don't have you know, enough range of motion today. I'm too sore to push the range of motion to do this workout, so we're gonna try to do this. So anyway, uh, back and forth with the leg in case you're wondering. So we take it back, really squeeze those glutes, bend over at the waist when you do that, bring it up as far as you can. When you come upwards, then bring it up in front of you. And this is just a real easy kind of swing here. You can add more momentum to it if you want to. But again, the point is to just warm up so it's not to push yet. Start with your legs <clears throat> further than shoulder width apart, but not quite as far apart as you can get them when you're standing. And start to gradually sink lower and lower when you side to side lunge. And then slowly move your feet apart. Take your hands off the pole for a real challenge. Make sure you keep those abs drawn in. Keep your chest up. And then depending on what you are doing for your session, you can then get into more focused kind of warm-ups, more focused kind of, I would say focus on active stretching, active flexibility for warm-ups, maybe do some deep lunges that you're not helping, um, you know, by pulling yourself or anything like that, you're just lunging with your hands, you know, maybe in a prayer position or something like that. So for me, for this session, I know that I'm probably not going to be doing, you know, middle splits or, um, let's see, what else am I not doing today? Well, regardless, when you move head to toe, you can then start to determine what your body's feeling 
like it's ready to do? Are you feeling like ready to invert? Are you feeling like you're ready to do splits? Are you feeling like ready to try and do some muscle power moves? Let your warm up help you determine where your session is going, unless you already know what you're doing and that you feel up and good enough to do it. All right, Stephen, happy Poland. <laughs>